Hello everyone, and welcome to this edition of Buzzy B. Esther. This is the voiceover of the Aloe Cooler. Enjoy! The Owl Cooler actually has four variations that I have listed here. So take a screenshot of this or take a look in the comments to see this in more detail. But the original ingredients are two oranges, one cup of coconut water, and one fourth of an aloe leaf, which is about two tablespoons of the gel or two inches of the leaf filleted. The second variation, I just add some parsley into these main ingredients. For the third variation, I add strawberries and parsley into the main ingredients. And for the fourth variation, which is also on the Medical Medium blog called Aloe Pineapple Juice Cooler, I add two cups of pineapple, three mint leaves, and one lime juice. I don't recommend putting parsley in with the pineapple because it does not taste that good. So for the directions, you're just going to cut off two inches of the aloe leaf and fillet the gel. Put all of the ingredients in the blender, blend, and enjoy. Make sure to invest in a high-speed blender, because when I made this in my Nutribullet, I didn't like the texture because the chunks of aloe gel were just really slimy as I was drinking it, and they didn't really blend down. Also, if the aloe tastes too bitter, I recommend cutting off the end of the aloe and putting a wet paper towel around it. Let it sit in the fridge for a day, maybe a couple hours, and you'll actually notice this yellowish, reddish liquid start to come out of it. This is called aloin and it can make it taste very bitter. It is very healing, but when you first start tasting it, it might you might not like it. Muniza, the intuitive medicine woman, also has an article about how to make aloe sweeter by letting it soak up some maple syrup. I'll also put that in the link of the resources section in the comments and on my blog. Next, I'd like to discuss what all these foods do for us to help us heal. Most of this information is coming from the medical medium book, Life Changing Foods, and some of it is coming from his blog, and I also took a little bit from Liver Rescue for the pineapples. So oranges have a coenzyme, which is activated by its high content of flavonoids and luminoids. These things fight off viruses and protect the body from radiation damage and deactivate toxic heavy metals in the system. Oranges, is, oranges can help us regrow teeth due to the bioactive calcium. The acid in oranges can help dissolve kidney stones and gallstones as well. Look to the orange for emotional support because it can cut through doom and gloom and bring liquid sunshine into your life. Eat them when feeling sun deprived in the winter and they will fill you with warmth. Oranges can give us spiritual support because they can take a back seat in our diet. We don't think much of them. In the past, our ancestors would treat the orange like gold because they weren't always available, especially in the winter. When they were, they usually went to the very wealthy rather than the regular townsperson. We need to think about what in our lives we have devalued and take a second glance. The orange is readily available during all times of the year. We need to value it again and make it central to our diets because it helps with so many health issues. Next, we have the coconut. Coconut water and coconut oil has become more popular in the health field in more, in more recent years. Coconut water was actually used as IV fluid for wounded soldiers in World War II. Coconut water is very similar to human blood. The coconut can get in touch with elements of healing foods that amplify them. If you add the coconut to a smoothie with parsley, the coconut water increases the ability of parsley to alkalize, alkalize the body by 50%. It also improves its trace mineral salts. Coconut water does this to any food. It increases its healing potential by 50%. Coconut ignites amino acids, vitamins, and other nutrients in food. It helps nourish us to perform our life's purpose, plus some. Coconuts are tropical, and we need warmth to grow. Humans are tropical creatures. 
We need heat to survive. Therefore, the coconut puts us in touch with this essence of our foundations of who we are. Coconut water can support good sleep because it provides vital glucose and critical mineral salts, including potassium and sodium, to the bloodstream. Glucose and mineral salts are fundamental elements of brain health and support neurotransmitter chemicals we need for sleep. Coconut water's trace minerals and electrolytes nourish reproductive tissues when we're dealing with infertility and other disorders involving the reproductive system. Coconut water also helps with blood sugar levels, which helps with diabetes and hypoglycemia. It can help with any brain neurological disorder like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. The coconut meat and the oil from the meat is antipathogenic because of the lauric acid content combined with other antioxidants in the coconut. The coconut has the ability to kill any pathogen, any pathogen it touches in the intestinal tract. It also loosens other fats and pushes them out of the body using its medium chain fatty acids. Look to the coconut for emotional support because it can open channels that allow someone to let go of self-addiction where they are constantly weighing their own needs against others. Narcissists and self-consumed people who don't seem to care about others can benefit from opening up to a more empathic nature. The coconut offers spiritual support because they actually drop their seeds in storms. They do this because they want to lighten their load even though their seeds are their most precious commodity. They need to lighten the load to endure the storm. They teach us to let go of things that seem really precious to us in hard times and the sun will always come out again. What matters is that you are okay in the moment. Some tips for coconut water. Be sure that you have pure coconut water without citric acid or natural flavors or cane sugar added. Steer clear of pink coconut water because it's a sign of oxidizing and that it's going bad. If you get a hold of young green coconut, consume it within a couple of days to prevent cleaning up coconut water from the ceiling and walls from a popped coconut if it sits. If you can't access fresh coconut, then get it jarred or frozen or as oil to cook with. Coconuts can help reduce your fear of open water because they're excellent swimmers. If you have trouble sleeping during the full moon, then try adding this to your diet to help with the neurotransmitters in the brain. Next is aloe vera. Aloe is well known for its uses outside the body, including sunburns, cuts, bruises, bug bites, and burns. It is much more beneficial when taken internally and can help with all the kinds of digestive issues, including constipation and cleansing the colon. It has over 70 trace minerals that are grouped together with undiscovered medical alloys. These make the aloe anti-inflammatory and help rejuvenate and repair parts of the digestive system like the appendix, ileum, and intestinal tract. Healing the ileum can help with B12 production because that's where it's produced in the body. Aloe vera is antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal, and antiparasitic. This helps eliminate all kinds of digestive cancers, and the beta-carotene and lignans in aloe vera also remove radiation from the body. Look to aloe for emotional support when you go through major transitions in your life like moving or feeling lost. It will help make you feel at peace with your surroundings. Aloe has been around since ancient times and most people are unaware of all its uses. When we start to realize what aloe can do for us, we can be inspired to look at the world around us with fresh eyes. This also helps us look into other uses of things already around us. Next is parsley. This herb is also an aromatic herb, but it's listed separately in life-changing foods because of its alkalizing power. The mineral salts in parsley help make it alkalizing. It can alkalize all systems of the body rather than just one or two, especially if I consume it in a daily routine. These properties help drive out acidity and diseases such as cancer thrive in an acidic environment. It's an all-pathogen fighter and can pull out herbicides, pesticides, 
It has vitamins B, including folic acid, traces of B12 coenzymes, and vitamins A, C, and K. It is remineralizing from the trace minerals, including magnesium, sulfur, iron, zinc, manganese, chromium, selenium, iodine, and calcium. It can also help the adrenals. Look to parsley for emotional support because it can help balance your state of mind. If you feel like people around you are on an emotional roller coaster, offer them some parsley. Parsley gives us a spiritual support because it teaches us not to ignore things that could ultimately help us. People miss out on the healing benefits of parsley because they don't like the taste. They tend to stay away from it when it really is so healing. In Liver Rescue, we learn that pineapple dissolves gallstones. It is highly acidic and has many chemical compounds that enter the liver easily. These kind of chemical compounds brush the inside of the liver, getting rid of the sticky, mucusy, debris, gunk, and byproduct that can build up inside of the liver from troublemakers like food and chemicals, heavy metals, and viruses. Pineapple also helps cleanse and detox the entire body. It can burn fat and tone the stomach. Tip, if you cannot handle the pineapple's astringency, then only eat the bottom two-thirds of the pineapple. If it doesn't bother you, then you can eat the whole thing. So I hope you guys have enjoyed my voiceover of the aloe cooler. I went through all of the healing benefits of the foods and enjoy this last little slideshow with some music. I hope you guys have a great day, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this content. See you in the next one.